Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an automated soap dispenser and hand wash timer using Quantum. We will be using a servo, an ultrasonic sensor, a display, and a bunch of jumper wires. The soap dispenser is simple. Once your hand reaches below the soap dispenser, the ultrasonic sensor will trigger and the servo will pull the string down to eject the soap onto your hand. The ultrasonic sensor is also triggering a 20 second countdown, which is shown on an LCD display. The LCD is counting down from 20 and will show the message done as soon as 20 seconds has passed. Before we start making, please visit our website at quantumintegrate.com. Click Support in the top menu, then click Projects and Tutorials on the next page, scroll down and click Open Projects, and finally select Automated Soap Dispenser Prototype. On this page, you will find all the related information for this project, like schematics, app, and firmware files, and much more. Let's have a closer look at the hardware components used in this project. I have a servo, an ultrasonic sensor, a 2x16 LCD display, and a bunch of jumper wires. All these components can be found in our starter kit. Please refer to the things used in this project section on the documentation page of this project for an in-depth overview of all the hardware components and tools used, as well as information on where to get them. I will now follow the fritzing and build the prototype. That was easy. Next, let's connect our builder bases with the queue server. First, make sure your builder bases are powered and are connected to the queue server or ready for pairing. Let's navigate to the clients tab and pair our first builder base that is wired to the server. Give the builder base a name and location. Next, let's pair a second builder base that is wired to the ultrasonic sensor and the LCD display. Give that second builder base a name and location. Now we have to prepare the firmware files. Navigate to the firmware page using the firmware icon in the menu on the left side of your screen. You can click import and use the firmware file that we are providing on the project page or click create new. For now, let's create a new firmware file together. Name it soap dispenser and then click create. Next, let's add some hardware to our first firmware file. Since our first builder base is connected to the servo, add a servo hardware and name it servo. Let's continue with configuring the servo. For driver, select generic. For pin, select GP0. Now, let's create the firmware file for our second builder base. This builder base is connected to the distance sensor and the LCD display, so we name it sensor and display. And then click create. Select the Distance Ultrasonic Hardware and name it Distance. Next, select the LCD Hardware and name it LCD. First, we configure the Ultrasonic Sensor. For Driver, select HCSR04. For the Echo Pin, select GP3. For the trigger pin, select GP4. Lastly, enter 1 as the resolution. Next, we configure the LCD display. 
For driver, select Generic LCD 2004 Display I2C. The I2C address in our case is 27 and the layout is 2 by 16. Click Save when you are done. To find your I2C address, first make sure your I2C device is connected to the builder base with power, ground, SDA, and SCL. Then we navigate to the client page. In the actions menu, on the desired builder base, click debug. And in the debug menu, we click the I2C scan button. The actual address is shown in a banner on top. Congratulations, you have finished creating the firmware files for the automated soap dispenser. Next, upload them to the correct builder bases. Let's continue by building the application file for the automated soap dispenser. Navigate to the app page using the app icon in the toolbar on the left side of your screen. You can either click create new and follow the step-by-step -step description on the project page, or click import and upload the application file that we are providing on the project page as well. First, Let's revise the general structure of the app together. Looking at the canvas from a high level, you will notice that we have two groups of objects. Let's start with the top one. On the left, we see the blue distance ultrasonic hardware object. We are using a value comparison to determine if your hand is placed above the sensor. In case it is less than our defined limit, the next code objects are executed. The data sequence object is triggering the servo which dispenses soap, and after a timeout, it will set the servo back to its original position. Let's have a look at the countdown cycle. The value compare block, once the criteria are met, sends a trigger to the data sequence above. This triggers a countdown from 20, timed in one second intervals, and each new digit update is displayed on the LCD. Once the countdown is complete, the done message is displayed on the LCD. If you are interested in using different hardware or other values, you can use this app as your starting point and use various other objects to extend the functionality, purpose, and scope of this app. Return to the app page using the icon on the left and start the app. When you're done mapping your hardware to the hardware objects in the app, Click save plus run. And there you have it, your own automated soap dispenser made with Quantum. We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.